Hello, everyone. All right, so in my own ad account, I've been seeing and observing some of the changes that the new iOS 14 um, privacy changes are how, how they're affecting all the ad sets um, in my own ad account. So I just kind of wanted to show you what we plan on doing moving forward to help avoid any of the ad sets being turned off if the domain isn't verified. So if you go to um, business.facebook.com slash events manager, um, that's pretty much where I am now. It looks like there's an underscore, but you can go to your business manager and then you go to this business tools section here, and then you go to this events manager, which looks like a little octopus. Then under my particular pixel for Litchfield Media, um, you'll see this section here, um, overview, We you have a pixel conversion API, and then there's also this new section here, aggregated event measurement. So we're going to configure some web events. Um, now there's a bunch of domains that you may see that aren't verified. So this is what we're going to have to do in particular. Um, I want to verify litchfieldmedia.org and then Clubhouse for CEOs. So I'm going to just kind of like follow the steps there. Looks like they just want Clubhouse. Add domain. And I also want to add electromedia.org. Okay. Let's see if that did anything. Okay, perfect. So from here, um, we're going to have to do some DNS verification. So in the back end where you host your domain, we're going to have to set up a text record in the DNS configuration. So here's the one that they're sending me, or basically they want me to copy this code. And then in the at, um, at in the add, add a at a symbol in the host field, if your domain requires, if your domain host requires it, and then wait until your DNS configuration changes have spread across your website domain servers. Okay, so for Clubhouse for CEOs, um, I have everything under Namecheap, Namecheap for me. So you'd go in here, manage, and then advanced DNS. And then um, we're going to add a new record. This one is a text record. Host was at, that was the wrong symbol. Um, copy this add it there in value and then i'm pretty sure i'll just keep it on automatic and then i just click click that check mark and then hit verify um so hopefully i mean this might take a few minutes for it to recognize but that's essentially how you would do it. So we are going to set up our conversion events inside of aggregate, aggregated event measurement tab. So this happens after we verify the domain, right? And as the admin on your account, um, the admin actually only has that kind of access to verify the domain. Um, but from here, where we'd go is business tools, and then to get to here is basically this is events manager. Um, specifically, I'm going to look at litchfieldmedia.org. That is the um, pixel that is, you know, across my entire website and funnel. So ending in 3799. So under aggregated event measurement is where we want to go and configure web events. So I've already um, verified my domain. And under litchfieldmedia.org, there's actually three assigned events. So you get eight, up to eight per account. Um, so we're going to have to do this for litchfieldmedia.org and Clubhouse for CEOs because I am running ads through that specific domain with Litchfield Media's Pixel. Um, so we have lead 
purchased um, Clubhouse Workshop and then purchase. Um, so let's actually, I want this to actually be purchase toolkit. You can actually get rid of that one. Um, I specifically, I think purchase <laughs> is the most important one. Um, lowest priority would probably be, I guess, initiate checkout. But I do want lead on there. We'll just select those for now. Okay, yes, I will understand these changes. Click OK. So now we have four. Um, we're going to do Clubhouse for CEOs and then edit. Okay, so purchase, yes. Add event. Initiate checkout. And then view content would be like lowest priority. Custom conversion. Okay. This one is definitely going to be a per it's a purchase conversion. So I'm going to add that in. And then also any thank you pages in this particular funnel. So um, I'm going to add her thoughts importante. Okay. And then I can drag this view content, initiate checkout, and then submit. Okay, so I have seven there, and I can add more here for Litchfield Media, but those ones are highest of priority right now. Um, if you have more than one custom convert, or more than like, I guess, five or so custom conversions, I would just focus on the standard events. So page view, lead, initiate checkout, purchase, um, those were those are like the four most common um, events that we use in the agency for for all the clients, and that's what I would recommend for anybody setting up these um, events.